Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to put Ubuntu Mate on the Raspberry Pi. I'll be using the Raspberry Pi 3B, not the B+. We're going to start by going to the Ubuntu Mate website here. The home page has some screenshots here, talks a little bit about it. I'll just go through some of these here and see what it looks like, how it feels. It really looks like something I would enjoy on the Raspberry Pi. So. We keep going down here we'll have a link for raspberry and i want to cover some of the features here real quick um it's got ubuntu kernel that's fully maintained by the ubuntu team um ethernet wi-fi bluetooth are all supported it does support audio out via analog or hdmi as well as video via composite or hdmi we've got gpio access python support um, USB booting and hardware acceleration. However, the hardware acceleration is only available on the 32-bit version, so that's the one we'll be using today. And some quick notes here under additional software. Um, it does port a version of the Raspberry Pi configuration. Um, Steam is apparently compatible, and Minecraft Pi is available. So let's let's head over here to the downloads page. We've got these two at the top here, which are for your typical um, PC processors. Right down here we've got some Raspberry Pi images. Um, on the right here we have the 64-bit version. Apparently that's not quite as stable, so we're going to go with the 32-bit version over here. And you can download via torrent or direct download. I've done the direct download, it's already downloaded to this computer, so let's go down here, open up Etcher. I already have a SD card in there. Select the download, hit flash. And this will probably take about 15, 20 minutes is my guess. I'll just let this run, and when it's done, we'll stick it into the Pi, and see how the boot up process is and the setup when it first boots up. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, so we're going to boot it up here. It took only about 10 minutes to flash to the SD card. All right, so far so good. We've got a wireless keyboard and mouse plugged into it, so we'll see how this goes. It's giving me some error here. But I think it's still working, so we'll see what happens. That was a pretty quick startup. So we've got a setup guide here at the beginning. We want English. It's taken a minute to think here. Still a lot faster than Windows. It's actually the same SD card that I use for Windows, so everyone can rest peacefully tonight knowing that I erased Windows, have no intention of ever using it again. We're going to select our keyboard layout. We can set up our Wi-Fi here. That's already connected. It's running a little slow, but this is the the B, not the B plus. It already knows my time zone. Can set up a 
profile here. Can I not set up a password? That's gonna make me put a password in here, okay. And looks like it's got a little bit of extra setup to do here. See how long this takes here. All right, so it did reboot after the setup process. We've got the desktop here. I don't think it's fully loaded yet, but I've got my cursor. Looks like there's some stuff still trying to load over here. We've got the Bluetooth icon, Wi-Fi. Yep, there's the sound and the settings. The date is accurate. It's running a little slow, but this is the Ubuntu Mate desktop. What have we got here? Oh, it's making sounds. Brisk menu has quit unexpectedly. Oh, okay. That was odd. Well, let's do a quick restart here. All right, so we're back on the desktop here. Still trying to load up some stuff. Give it a minute. It's a very interesting layout compared to the desktop version of Ubuntu. Okay, what have we got over here? Accessories. Admin. We've got all of the office applications that you would normally have on Ubuntu. We've got a preferences menu here that's full of options. VLC is already installed. We have some accessibility features. Let's try opening Firefox. running pretty slow now. See if Firefox eventually pulls up here. Here it comes. Still faster than Windows. So let's try going to YouTube. Here it comes. Oh, this is taking a while. It's not bad. Raspberry Pi 4 definitely runs a lot better, but it's got a faster processor, four gigs of RAM. Well, it's gonna play a video here, whatever this is. Let's see if this works.
Well, that's not too bad. It is still playing videos off of YouTube. Well, this doesn't run too terribly. It does lag a little bit. The Ubuntu Mate Foundation does not currently support the Raspberry Pi 4, but allegedly they are working on it. I'm not a big fan of Raspbian myself, so I'm, I am looking for something more stable to use with the Raspberry Pi 4, something more modern, something with more features and all of that. So I have been exploring all of these other operating systems and thought I would share it with you guys. I'm going to go into the settings menu real quick here and see what configuration options we have here. If it ever wants to pull up. There we go. Oh, it looks. I really like the feel of this. I wish I wish it ran a little bit faster. It'd probably work better on the 3B plus, and obviously on the 4, it'd probably run amazing. It may be my go-to operating system when they release support for the Pi 4. Well, this looks good. I, I really like Ubuntu Mate. Let me know your thoughts below. I'll put link. I'll put a link in the description for the Ubuntu website where you can download this and read all about it and see all the features in more detail. I don't think I'd try to, I would want to do a whole lot more on this one with the three, but it runs good. It's not bad. I think next week I may get into Android. There's an Android distribution that I'd like to use with the Raspberry Pi, um, but the distribution that I want to use does not include the Google Play Store and apparently you can put the Play Store on there. It's just complicates things a little bit, so I wanna learn more about that and practice a little bit more. So I will talk to y'all next week. Make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you'd like, and um, be sure to visit thinkingofpi.com for lots of useful information regarding the Raspberry Pi. Thanks.